the UN South Sudan envoy Elin Lodge has told the Security Council that parts of South Sudan remain volatile, with frequent attacks that has disrupted supply of essential goods, including food. The United Nations chief has warned that the three-year-old conflict continues to push the country towards further division and risk a full-scale civil conflict. Political rivalry in South Sudan between President Kiel and his former deputy Masha led to civil war in 2013. The deterioration of the economy and the increasingly fragmented conflict, often with ethnic undertones that we are seeing, have placed the country on a potential downward slide towards greater diversiveness and risk of full-scale civil conflict that could render national cohesion almost impossible to achieve. Oil producers in South Sudan won independence from Sudan in 2011, but in December 2013, slid into a two-year civil war after a dispute between President Salva Kiir and its former deputy, Rek Marshall. The pair signed a shaky deal last year, but fighting has continued and Marshall fled the country in July. The fighting has hurt oil production, a major source of revenue, which has also been hit by falling prices. The most recent conflict has killed thousands of people and driven more than 2 million people from their homes, with many of them fleeing to neighboring countries. UN peacekeepers currently protect nearly 200,000 civilians at six sites around the country.